Welcome to the Seven Crosses series for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. And in this video, what I want to do is take a look at the three new farms that have been made available as part of the minor update that was released on the 6th of December 2021. And this explains why we're actually on a new map with unlimited money, simply because if I put these farms out on my normal map, all it would be in template and you guys won't be able to see what the farms actually look like. And I wanted to show you what the farms look like because I want to talk a little bit about configurations and a couple of possible issues and for that reason i've also set up an, a little test as a demonstration but we're going to start first with what they, is now the small farm you can see it's just called the small farm and you can see it's got six slots means that you could possibly do nine large and three medium fields using this configuration of three tractors and three harvesters effectively all i've done is divided the performance uh, with compared to the original agro farm and if I come in and show you here, this has two external connections. We'll just drop these in just to show you where these silos can go. Before we move to the medium farm, I just want to zoom in a little bit and just show you that there's two unloading bays here. And that seems to be a characteristic, and that's something I do want to explore. The other thing also is we come down and tilt up here. You see the farm now has kind of an outside shed with the farmhouse here and a couple of silos here which represents the internal storage which is 40 tons now if i move over to what is now known as the medium farm which is the direct replacement of the agro farm what you can see is the storage is actually increased but i don't think it's as high as it was in the original farm and what i've done here is i've set this up with as what you could call the standard profile which is current we're currently using in game which is six tractors six harvesters and no uh, no covered holes and you can say, see again that there's only the two slots there. And then if I, if I show you the connections, see this has got four connections, two relatively close together. I wouldn't think that's particularly that important because if you're going to run a farm in this configuration, you wouldn't want a silo hooked to it anyway. But if you do want to run a, a mixture of uh, tractors, harvesters and covered holes, there are four connections. So moving across to here, this is the large farm. You can see it's actually got 30 slots, but what I've done here is I've actually set this up as a combination of how I'm currently running my farms in the series. That is to have six tractors and six harvesters, which would be normally located in the farm. And then what I've done is the two distribution offices that I'm using that have got um, six covered holes in, I've brought these into this farm here. And if I move down, you'll see that this farm actually has the 144 tons, which was norm originally associated with the, the standard agro farm. Now, if I pull out and just pick up the, here you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight possible connections for silos. I'm not exactly sure you do that because although what you could do just as a demo, if I come to storage, because you've got to remember because in this configuration, this farm has the capacity of harvesting around 6,000 so probably the best way to do this would be to put a big silo like that and then put in maybe a, a small silo over here as well like this and of course you don't need a cargo unload station in this profile because all the vehicles are actually inside but if I zoom in you'll see that there's still only the two loading unloading bays there and I'm a little bit worried about whether when the harvesters are being gathered, these are going to be the drop off points. Now, the reason I put a second farm in here, because I've, I thought I'd just do a kind of super layout here. What I've done is, is I've had another two tractors and another two combines and two more covered holes to fill up all 30 slots. Then technically, this should give a capacity of 22 large fields and eight medium problems aside these do look cool if i come in here you can see all the vehicles lined up now so you can actually see where the vehicles are rather than disappearing into the building even the medium field looks pretty cool with the the, the silos and all that here and of course the advantage of using this combination is the fact you won't need a gas station because all the trucks and everything will come in side for fuel and there's plenty of storage for fuel as well and that also applies to this one you can see this actually holds 45 tons of fuel the test i want to run is actually over here because 
one of the new features of these farms is that they fix the problem of one vehicle coming in and out at one time so what i've done is i've set this test up here 18 large fields six medium fields and what i want to do now is we're just going to make sure the game is still on pause what i'm going to buy is uh, one two three four five six um, tractors and we're going to buy six harvesters so that's six is it 12 and then we're going to put the uh, tw the 12 covered holes in like that that's what's that uh, we'll just fill it up like that with all that and then i've gone a little bit over the top there now what i want to do is this should all be powered up it says building without power supply okay what's up with the power supply yeah i'll try sure put a power supply in oh i haven't switched on the import sorry about that <laughs> uh import i want to make emphasize i'm not going to run through the whole farming cycle because we're already on the 23rd of march what I want to do is see how all the tractors leave here and start ploughing the fields. I've set the profile up so the, the first six flat tractors out should go to the medium fields. And then what I'm going to do is run forward and wait till they start harvesting just to see if there's a traffic jam builds up here. I think ready to go. Just a quick double check. I think what we'll do is just for the fun of it, we'll just add uh, another tractor another combine just to fill this up i'm just going to unload and what you can see is so you can see, so you can see they're all flowing out of here in one go which is encouraging and they're all spreading out this way we've got one two three four five six seven they're all going out to start doing the harvesting i really like the fact they all came out in one big rush which is the major change with these farms I think there's some other buildings that have been got it as well because in the past you'd have had one tractor come out and go out and drop out here and then another track then once the tractor left there then the next one would go out and it'd be the same if there's vehicles waiting to come in if there's a vehicle coming out it would wait so and of course we've got the fastest tractors available because i've bought the most modern vehicles so i think that demonstrates that these guys can uh, leave here okay so what i'm going to do is cut the video now just follow these around and and if i can get a good example of the tractors returning to the farm i'll be right back if not i will play through until the harvest season starts and then we'll pick it up from there okay guys welcome back what's happening at the moment is the tractors are returning to the farm and i thought i'd just show you this little sequence to see if they're all moving around at the same time so you can see what you're getting here now is the the tractors moving in and out of the building uh, without um this the usual pause see you see he's driving straight in and out so that goes to show that that bit is working it's also interesting that the the tractors are actually going to their respective bay to refuel i think that's a good demonstration of multiple vehicles being able to maneuver in the farm so again i'm just going to cut the video now and i'll be right back when the harvest starts so here we are the harvest is just about to start the first combine is leaving the factory we're just going to let it the game run and what you're going to see is probably the combines come to these three medium fields here you can see there's a little bit of a rush them all coming out because all these fields have finished roughly the same time because they're all sown at the same time now while the harvesters are working their way to the fields because we're not really interested in them we're really interested in the the trucks that are going to pick the crops up what, I've, what you can see here, I did manage to sow all the fields, even though the, the harvest is starting quite late. And the other thing I've also done is I've put some gas stations in, because though this one doesn't actually have a power supply on better, what we'll do is just very quickly drop in a turbine. Don't need the roads because there's um, fires are switched off. Because I'm just going to be interested to see how whether the trucks themselves will come out. So the first truck is out. And this is the one we're going to keep an eye on so he's coming down here because and there comes the second one so each field will get allocated a truck and what i'm going to be really interested in to see is whether they go back into their own base drop off or whether they drop off in those locations there so we're just going to keep an eye on these this guy's picking up they're all going to pick up about 12 tons each so we'll just keep an eye on the trucks on this side and well if we put it like that we should be able to see the trucks on this side which is most likely going to be the first one to go back to the farm 
so there's our first truck going back now the question is is he going to stop here or go back inside just see he's gone back inside that is brilliant and what i need now is multiple trucks coming back at the same time now so they're flowing in they're going this way oh that's great because we've got two trucks now in lo loading another one coming out we've got two more coming in and like that so we've got three trucks in there unloading that is fantastic that's exactly what i wanted to see because if the if these trucks had come in and stopped at these unloading bays this farm wouldn't have been viable in this configuration that we've got here just close these windows this configuration because if you had trucks queuing up to drop off at two locations like this it would just make life very very difficult so really these locations are for pickups and dropping off the fuel so i think that is working really well i'm just going to watch it very for a little while and then that will be it so we got so they're all coming in so we've got two trucks coming in one coming out a little bit of a pause there but they're, they're actually circulating around the farm that is that's exactly what i was hoping for and that actually encourages me to use the large farms on the seven crosses series there goes out another combine because we've probably got one of the big fields of, of running and i think that is enough of this test i'm not going to harvest all the fields because all i wanted to do is see the motion of the trucks circulating in this farm here so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to quit out of here and load the my actual seven crosses map for anyone who's just interested in the new farms that's the end of this what i will be doing once we're back on the seven crosses map is integrating these farms into the farms that i laid out in the last part so i will see you on the seven crosses map so here we are on the seven crosses play map this section is going to consist of three parts first part i just want to rework these farms that i laid out in the last part with the new farms the second part i've got to do some work on my signaling so that i can make my track layers a little bit more efficient and then in the final part what i'll do is give you a bit more of an update and see how much gameplay we can get in before i run out of time so the first things first we'll start on this farm up here now this is the farm that I'd like to put in the new large farm here because if, you, if I pull back a little bit, but well, not above the clouds, you see I've got space for extra fields here. So what this farm is going to become is a test to see how far we can push out the fields using the large farm. So what we're going to do is put a large farm in here. We'll just have to delete this. To begin with, what we'll do is configure it so that it will have a normal farm profile and then just expand it over time so we'll just get this here we'll take this grain silo out here we've got a, a gas station here i don't think we might need to get may not need to get rid of that but we're gonna have to take out some of these roads we've got a little bit of road there i think this is a power substation here we'll take this road out i think we'll put the new farm in here because uh, well, we'll just have to see how it goes. <laughs> um, I think we're... Well, no, we don't really need this field here. We'll just take this back as well. And of course, the next thing I've got to do is get in here and remove a little bit of road there that needs to come out. Get rid of you. And we're, what was, what's this? That's a gas station. We'll get rid of you. And then see if we can get rid of these cargo offices. I'll delete you. So we've now emptied this area here. And of course the first thing we're gonna do is put in the one of the new large farms. Now I need to position this. So that we can get some pretty big silos around it with the ability to um, hook cargo stations to it so that we can actually fit it if we put it in about here like this maybe yes we drop it there and then what i would like is some pretty big storage and i'm going to go over the top here simply because I think it'd be advantageous to have an excessive capacity here 
because I've got absolutely no idea how far we're going to push the fields out. But at the same time, I think I would like to have... Would there be advantage of having one store? I mean, I've got some really big storage here. We've got 5,000, I've got 8,000 here. A one-way system there, or a two-way system. I think what we're going to do is we're going to put in... Maybe 5,600. It's 5,600. We could put that in, or what we could do is just stick with this one here. The only problem with this one is it's going to be the angle, isn't it? No, let's just let's just go for 8,000 tons. <laughs> but I'm seeing no idea if this is going to work. Got to squish it a little bit from there because we've got potential road coming in there. Now, the one thing that I do notice is that we get in very close. I do wonder whether this has got a one way system in it because it's not got two way arrows on it. So, does that mean that we've got a one way system around here? I think just to be on the safe side, but just come out here. Trim this back. I've, I've never built this building before, so uh, if we come down like that. There. Although, technically, we're going to put cargo offices in here, cargo stations. I could put a cargo station about here, which will take that out there. And what I could do is put a second one up here for luck so that we can have a second takeoff there. And that means that we can have the different options uh, moving the tr trucks out. And we'll just tidy this road up. This is one of the hazards of... We're just... Why don't you just take this all the way back so that we can... And we'll put that road there. Put you there. We've got a nice big space here, which has the potential to be to put another field in, isn't it? We take out that road there. I think there's some power cables in here somewhere that I planned. So let me just remove you. We got a little bit of workspace here should we need to put some extra buildings in say for, say for example gas station or something i think just to get the ball rolling we're gonna put uh, another big field in say about there let me just kind of nick it back like that and then we can put a it'd be nice to get a medium filled in ah we got a problem there because that road's already being built if i just put the medium filled in like that once this road's being built we can then hook through and build that just want to check this is the substation here oh, yeah lordy low the interesting comment on not the previous video of this series but my four corners series and somebody made quite a, a useful observation when they said they didn't particularly worry too much about loyalty they concentrated more on happiness and in some ways i'm inclined to agree with that point of view i think it would be a mistake to be totally obsessed with trying to get loyalty as high as possible because i suspect that the benefits from getting high loyalty aren't as good and i agree with the sentiment that it's probably more important to keep everybody happy and supply them with the necessary goods and actually live with the consequences of loyalty although there's part of me also says that maybe we can have a bit of fun with possibly having towns with um, no secret police tucked away with low loyalty and then maybe super loyal towns because it is theoretically possible to manage the loyalty on a, a city or town by town basis Maybe that's something that I can we can explore later on, but I'm getting a bit distracted. Now, I think it's going to be a little bit more difficult to get a farm in here. 
we have to knock you down here. Because of course what we're going to have to try and do is get it in on this corner here. But I can't remember what, what are we putting in here. I think we're putting a medium farm in here, aren't we? So what is this here? This is a distribution office where we can zap that. And what we'll do here is going to put in a medium farm. Which will... Because my reasoning for putting the medium farm in here is more from the concept that by putting in the new farm we'll get the advantage of having the, the the tractors and combines moving in and out freely which i so i think we'll just drop you in about here like that so you're just going to be the medium farm of course we'll take this road out here and redo it so it can get built in one section I'll we'll just connect you up here. And then that will come in here. I've got absolutely no idea if I've put power into this area. One of the problems with all this planning is that it's trying to work out where some things actually are. <laughs> I can't see whether I've put power supply in here, but it's... Well, I'll sort that out later on. Uh, it would be great if there was some way you could colour close your planning. And we've got a substation here. Not power, I don't think. Let me just take a look. No, I shouldn't be doing this, but... I don't think I've actually put... This, what's that there? That's the, suspicion. That's the substation. Now, that means somewhere here is a... Gonna be a power line, isn't it? Let me just see. Well, I'm not picking it up, so it's got to be in here. So ah, I know what it is. It's probably underground. <laughs> yeah, I run these. I ran this one underground because I made the mistake of uh, not leaving enough space between the fields. So we've now got our large farm here, which would be. I've also got another farm I've planned out here which I I'm, think I'm probably going to tear down completely and rebuild but because I, I can't really place the farm in the large farm in here and again this would be a potential mega farm for the future but I think I would like to rework this but what I would need to do is put in a uh, what we call it a small construction office in fact I'll do it while I'm thinking about it I was just going to put in one of the tiny ones because what I'm just going to need out here is a, some bulldozers and excavators. So uh, just put you there. While I'm remembering. And then as the road comes out here, we can build this. In fact, I could probably build it with a helicopter. In fact, I'm, I'm going to do that while I'm thinking about it. One, two. Uh, until our helicopter crews to come out there. I mean... Yeah, but although the only way I'm going to get vehicles out to here is by actually purchasing directly. But we'll, we'll see how that goes. Now, the next thing... I've kind of lost track of where I am. Now, what I did off camera is I've added a technical office here. Because, well, well, well... And what I've done here is put a technical office in. Because when the winter was on, I went all the way around the maps to see where the gaps were with the vehicles. And we certainly need a technical office here. The other thing I've also done is put this field in here, but it looks like it may not get sown. And you can see it's also got little bits of breaks in here. I'm not totally convinced that that is going to be ideal, but I think we probably got enough space here. I mean, the grounds isn't exactly level, but we might be able to get in, say, across here, the, a small farm and and. and I think if we can include this as a possible 10th field, we might be able to get, say, uh, we're going to put nine fields in. If I start here, it's roughly one there. Let me go one, two, three. Let's uh, clips a little bit. That's pretty awful. Okay, this one one is a bit better so that's one two three four possibly five yes yeah, that's one two three four I 
we got five we're going to put nine large fields in aren't we then we're going to put us so we got five across the back there i think i'm starting to plan for an 18 slot uh, farm <laughs> and we're just going to put a small farm in we put it in about here like that actually we can probably put it about there Maybe just psych it around a little bit like that. Uh, put the road out here. Get you. Now, the theoretical output for a small farm should be half of 6,000. So it should be about 3,000. So we're going to need storage for possibly about 3,000. But I think what I will do is I'm going to fall back on my favourite one here, this 5,400. That would mean that if we don't empty it in one season, it will still be able to function. We've got a bit of a fire there. If we put this, say, about there. And then I put in a cargo station here on this side. What I'm kind of half doing is reproducing the what I did over here with this farm. I put the farm there and I put a, this silo in. This is the same silo. And I've got the two on opposite sides like that. Five fields that side. Three mediums in. Just put the medium fields in. If I put a medium field directly behind the farm there, then we're going to have to leave enough space for the road to go across the front there. Let's just put that road in. Put the road across like that. And we'll hook you up like that. That. And then you can you could probably come out like that and run down here can't see me oops ah, oh come on game you sharp a turn uh, hook you there and there probably trim you back so that's one two three four five and then we need a couple of mediums we can probably put the mediums, the extra mediums in, say that. But actually, you could probably put farms there, isn't it? So say I put the, we put the medium about there. Of course, this area is not really flat, so. It's still 1.57, that's good. We got one, two, three, four, five. Um, three there. So we've got to get to nine large fields. We need four more large fields in this area somehow. And then that will be um we put thank you game. Whoops, wrong way round. Not happy with that. Maybe we can put one there to see. Yeah, 4.81. So we just need space for one more large farm field. Sorry, not farm. What am I on about? Um, if we could put it. Let me just see. I think if we take out these. And then if we give priority to the, the large field, say for argument's sake, that comes. Actually, this can go this way around, can't it? Actually, you can put it about there, like that. And then we can... More, is that medium? We could tuck in two medium fields, one... There. 
and possibly one there like that. Probably not the most efficient way to play out the farm, but I was never expecting to build a farm here. So this is a bonus farm for respect to because of the and in some ways it's a little bit of an experiment as well. So and there queue through to there and then can take you off there through to there you can hook up to that station there and then we can take a whoops no stop there come here kind of come across like that and you can hook into there you can hook into there you can come out to there like that. Quick check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine large fields, possibly a tenth one here. And one, two, three small medium fields. So that gives us a small farm in this area here. And I think that's all I want to do with farming because we're probably a very long way into this video and I've still got other things to do because my whole economy down here could be collapsing and I wouldn't be aware of it. And the next thing I need to do is get lots of these things saying production stopped. And what's this? This is my heating plant. I think they've got a bit of a worker issue here. Although technically we've got no workers in here. But it's April, so we should be okay. I don't think anyone's going to be getting excessively cold here. Well, we've got a new building here. Okay, let me just allow some citizens to move into there. That would give us more workers. One thing I am considering is we got a bus stop here. I think what I will do... Uh, oh, I've built this up here, haven't I? We're going to get rid of you and just pick up the bus route into here um, let me just see I think what I'd like to do is put you actually on there and then we'll remove remove that one and you're going to pick up from there and drop off the heating plant like that I think if we do that, I mean, eventually I could possibly build a road out to here. Actually, I think I will put that road on the list. So, uh, I want to put the road out to there. And that should get picked up by the road crew. And what that would mean is that the workers from here can provide heat to the heating plant. Right, now the next thing I want to do is we've got our trains here. I need to find where my construction trains are. We've got one out there, one out there. Good. Uh, he, no, he's not past this point yet, so we need to get him past here. Because if I pause now, what you'll see here is that the tracks have now got out past this point here also got past this point here we need to get rid of this section here because this is a construction line so i don't need that whoops i tried to accidentally on game you can do it so we've now got to this point here now what i want to do is signal this whole section up so that the trains can come out this way so we need to start not there we know that the, the trains can get to where sorry, sorry about scanning here let me just pick up the signals here right so we got that point here is this technically this crossover is now redundant so i want to double check though first we got that one there one there and we've got one here so this one here is is effectively redundant oh 
you can... That's annoying. Done it twice. Right, I'm just going to fill in these little gaps here. I'm not going to... I'm just going to cheat a little bit here. And just build these. Okay. So we've got back to the signals. Yeah, it's, it's one of the annoying things. I know I'd do it. We've got line through to here. Can get rid of that signal, that signal, that signal, that signal. That's quite a long length of track actually, so I think what we'll do is we'll just drop in one of those. That also acts as a reminder to me the, which side of the track I'm meant to be working on. Now we're going to put a just can't put it there. Chain signal there. Chain signal there. Chain signal there. We're going to come that way. You're going that way. You're going that way. Also, we're going to need to work on this junction. You need a signal there. You're already done these you're gonna go there you're gonna come up to there you're gonna have whoops you're gonna go there you're gonna come back that way then we we'll put a mix signal here what that means is that the construction train in this area and come and go as much as he wants because he can cross over here and it means that make sure I don't unpause because so we've now got this signal here we need to change that to there oops you can come there you can go there you can go there I don't think I really need these in the middle here for the moment Come here, we've got chain in that way, in that way. On the game, you can do it. Then we got that one going that way. Why can't we put a semaphore here? Okay, put it there. And then you can come there. You can come there. You can come there. You can go there. You can come out that way. You can go that way. And you can go that way. Right, and we'll just go up this branch now. We need to get to this signal. We'll put that there. Okay, we'll just do this one as well. You come there. You there. You can go there, and then we put mix signal there. That allows the construction train in this area to do whatever he wants to do. And then we'll just drop you there. And of course, we'll have to put you there you there oops no you there. and then you're the outside on this side now if we come up here oh oh this is don't do this to me again okay, so we'll, that's a little bit short but this is really a temporary track for to strive the construction eventually this track will disappear so this is really to get the construction materials in here build stilton out here once stilton's been built we'll probably deconstruct all this and throw it away right we got to have but this is the permanent track here into the oil supply depot we will just drop you in there and that's that there so we've now got this through here. Now the next thing I need to do is just do this junction. Now you've got this line coming down here. So this is 
gonna be the in it's gonna be the in it's gonna be the out and we're gonna go that way and then this is the, gonna be the crossover so you're gonna come that way we've got that way there Now in theory, that is all I need to do. What that means is that what we got now is we got a construction train can work in this area. Construction train can do his own thing in this area. Although there's a possible, possible, there's don't think there's there's a link through over here, isn't there? But we got like a single line link through here. So what I'm going to do is just put a two-way signal in the center what that does is it breaks this side from this side so that they don't think that they're on the same segment of track what that means is if i let the game run what i should be able to do now is we've got plenty of money is if i come in here i can buy let's just see if we we actually yeah we've got all three jobs going I can what I can do now is I can buy a one of another one of these and we can just assign you to not there I want you to come out here so you can then what we get is one train working in this area one train working there one train working in that area this is taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Now, if we come over to here, <coughs> what we got here is this is all finished up to this point here. It's going to be a bit more complicated here because we need a back curve to come back to here. But as far as I know, the, the construction train running out here hasn't got to that back curve at the moment. But I think he's working on this section here. So what i need to do is this is where we've got let's see where the signals are so we're gonna have to come here right we've got signals there which breaks that right let's just get back to yeah i'm just gonna keep it paused i've got absolutely no idea where the train is here Um, there's only trains on this section of track. Laying track. No, nope, that's good. So we're going to come all the way back to here where this connection is. This can. Um, Oops. You can go that way. I don't really need signals here. I'll just take these out for the moment because technically the only train that's going to come up here is the construction train and here be kind of just following his own path you're just running into there so we don't need to signal you up we'll run through to here just change you what I'm doing here is I'm just signaling this up so that we could possibly get a train into here to ship goods but this train is going to have to kind of half share this area with the construction train and then gonna, oops put you there put a chain signal there and we'll put the mix signals there that means that this guy can flip backwards and forwards build out here do his own thing just like he can um where a chain signal there and a chain signal coming in there put you there you out that way probably remove these signals for the moment just to keep the track simple that little bit of segment isn't shared so that's okay and then we'll come up to here You can come there. You can come out that way. 
you can go that way you can go that way you come that way you go that way and of course we'll put the mix signals there the bit short so we're going to, have to keep a fairly short train coming in here that's when we got mix signals set up where that can come there that can be the chain train coming in there and that can go there in theory if I let the game run eventually I won't set the train up in this part because I want to make sure that all my signaling is correct before I commit to putting a train up here and also I'm not 100% sure what I want to bring up and take away from here so that's going to stay the way it is it'd be nice to be able to pick up prefabs from here take them all the way down to here because we can deliver them into here which means we won't have to use trucks to bring prefabs down to here we can also take them all the way through to here so that means we can use a train and then we can also probably pick up bricks as well and what I've just described is a real candidate for another new feature that was announced in the recent community report that is um, train distribution offices and I have to admit I'm really looking forward to those we've done that now we're just gonna have to wait to see whether whether any of my construction trains complain about where they're going in fact let's just do a quick check to see where they are we know where the new one is so where are you you're over there right this guy is actually going out this way so what we're gonna do is just follow him very briefly just to see if he can get out to the construction area I must admit I do like following the the trains here another reason why I like zooming in is that the sheer level of detail on some of these vehicles and until you zoom in you, you can't really appreciate that detail because when you're normally building you're so zoomed out so far and I know uh, some of you kind of comment about I should zoom in more and I, th I think it's when you zoom in you get that appreciation for that level of detail like that wire going around the pulley it's absolutely awesome oops thank you game you dropped a save just at the right, kind of right time here this is a bit of a roller coaster <laughs> I must admit I didn't realize how steep that uh, incline was here and we're just going up over the top of course all through here is electrification something else I've discovered almost by accident that if you want to check the electrification on a line in preparation for um, opening up a track is to actually follow the construction train through because by this you can actually see the overhead cables and see whether there's any gaps and I think we're probably far enough out now to where are we yeah we're, we've come right out to here I just want to see where what he so he's gonna lay here once he's got finished this section we're gonna start doing this back curve here and get that built so that we can then go back and do these two sections here this one and this one I think that is going to be okay now I now I'm aware that I'm probably am running out of time on this video so what I'll do is I'll just give you a little bit of an update of where I think I am because and to be honest I'm not exactly too sure how things are going we got a bit worried about my health it's 88% For some reason health hates me in this game at the moment I, I just can't seem to be able to get it up so let's just have a quick look at where that health actually is it's this 60% what I was just wondering whether we're getting pollution here yeah I think this is a, a pollution issue isn't it I think maybe this would be an ex is an example of the people living in the poor end of town who suffer. Probably fine. I don't know if this actually can tell you about pollution, but I would be prepared to guess that because the food factory is going a lot faster now, I would guess that we're probably getting yeah we're getting more pollution now spreading out this way. So we're going to need to consider moving these residents out. From these three areas here and we're, I mean probably see what the employment factors like here I mean we've got 131 unemployed workers and of course as I said in previous videos we're going to be reshaping this area eventually anyway 
Uh, let me just see. We're, we're at the, on the 29th of April. I should check my crop situation. Let's just do it the other way. Let's do it the quick way. Crops. So we got 1,200 tons in there at the end of April. One thing I have realised is I've got one food battery effectively supplying all the food to one area. In fact, I've just had an idea which I'm going to steal from my All Crosses series. So we've got the shopping mall here. And we've got loads and loads of uh, actual fields around here. I'm just wondering, if, say if I set up a local bakery over here somewhere. We've got a road here. Like, similar to what I've done on my Four Corners series. There's no reason why I would have to ship the food in then, wouldn't I? I mean, the maximum population of here is going to be about 2,000. So let me just take a look at the food factories. Um, what is it? It's the small rural bakeries. I mean, this has the capability of creating six tons of food per day. So say for argument's sake, we kind of dropped you in... Oh, we could put it that way, couldn't we? That would be quite... That could be quite sneaky, actually. What we could do is... Uh, I can't remember what is... This is the shopping mall. I think this is the big corner shopping mall. Let me just check. There are times sometimes I wish the thumbnails... Were, if there's a way you could kind of zoom over them and magnify the thumbnails. Um, where is it? Uh, come on, is it? I was here, yeah, because I added it to my favourites. See, this has got a storage capacity of 35 tonnes of food. 24 tonnes of electrics, electronics. So, say for argument's sake, I put a small um, warehouse in here. In fact, we've got a small, um, what we call it. Um, what is it? This rural one here. So, say we put a small rural factory. I could squish that in say about there like that and then we're just snick that out there and if I can get in the raw bakery so this is left hand this is right hand she was to go for the left hand one and then if we say we snick that in actually under construction no it's good we can then put you in there when I mean, a small bakery shouldn't cause that much pollution is it i mean where i live i've got a local bakery that's in the literally in the high street i, I can't see well just to kind of make things a little bit easier we'll put that in there we'll put the factory connection in make sure that works and then once this road's built, we can then build the road there. And I think that'd be quite useful. And actually, and I think we probably could do the same up over here when we lay out this town here. I think it'd be quite um, useful to get that done like that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to have a quick run round and see what's going on. Over here is the tourist town, which originally I was going to plan in this part, but... The, the, the quick update up at that. Over here, I think this is going pretty well. We're actually getting a surplus of oil now. We really need to get possibly more trucks working. But I think at the moment we're okay from the perception perception of keeping the oil going. Obviously, I've gone too far. Sorry about that. Um, let me just see. So we are getting a little bit of surplus of fuel coming in here. But of course, at the moment, it's really just in time. I think, I think Nollerton's my other problem place with respect to health. Let me just look at this. When I checked it, yeah, the health was still a little bit low. I'm not exactly sure why. Can't work due to sickness. But we've got coverage here. And I think I need to increase that a little bit. I think we've got spare workers here now. Take a quick look. We've got 21 unemployed. Just see. I think what I will do is... Let's see what this guy's up to. 
the, he's pretty efficient and he keeps running out of work. I think what we'll do is we're put in another another one of these going. I mean, this area here is coming together quite nicely. We've got the coal ore here. We just need this produced. We've got a connection through here. I think hopefully this is going to have power. Yep. And once this is finished and this is finished, we can start producing the coal, which will come down to this coal fire power plant here. And we've got the power actual power plant here. So I think overall this area is working quite well. For some reason still seems to be suffering with loyalty problems, if I remember correctly. Um, but as somebody pointed out, what's the point? I, I just can't understand why these guys, are, the loyalty is so low. I mean, we're educating these at... So we've got plenty of staff in here. For some reason, the loyalty just doesn't want to grow. At the same time, if we show you here, as somebody pointed out, everybody's happy. We've got a surplus of over 21, so uh, we'll just see how it goes. I mean, my secret police are working hard. I mean, they're government loyalty. Yeah, bang on cue. This lot got low loyalty. Mystery. Mystery, mystery, mystery. I've got if any of you guys got any insight into what I'm doing wrong, just feel free to chuck it in the comments. I think knife edge here, I keep to be honest, everyone keeps referring to this as knife edge and I've forgotten completely what the, the proper name was. It's actually Nakomo Camp. But we'll call it knife edge. I think over here is okay. I just want to check my Close production here because this is getting a little bit marginal as well. Now Colville down here is going pretty well as well. Let me just check here. I've actually managed to get the unemployment down in this area by kind of spreading out the bus stops. I think that actually, that's actually worked quite well by putting this extra bus stop in. It seems now that the instead of every, kind of more queuing up at the individual bus stops here the uh, it kind of now spreads that load out a little bit the steel mill here is pretty efficient as you can see i'm now getting a regular supply of workers in here should be where it proves me wrong i look at that i mean i can't get it up to the full 200 but at the same time as you see the iron ore has run out so i think if, if getting 80 odd workers in here makes a difference so Colville is functioning quite nicely. I put uh, a couple of extra vehicles in here to do work on support road construction. Uh, what I did is I brought them up from here to here because this one is marginally closer to the aggregate store, which is, where is it? Here. Now, and what we're going to do is just finish up with uh, Stilton here. I haven't checked these for a long time. Why are you guys so unhappy? University halls of residence. What's up with you? Why are you so unhappy? You've got everything. You're just unhappy for the sake of being unhappy. And, and again, I do wonder whether it's these halls of residence that pull down your loyalty. I mean, uh, just check the. We've got. Oh, what we got here? Wow. We've got a lot. It's almost like we need another orphanage. Oh well. Can't keep building orphanages everywhere. The school is good. Where's my secret police then? Here they are. When I mean, the secret police are doing their thing the school is 35 so I just so let's just have a quick look everyone's happy except these guys who are having a bit of a salt for some reason probably because they're in their halls of residence maybe they don't like what they've been taught in the uh, the party headquarters here or maybe it's the fact that they just can't move out health isn't exactly sparkling we'll take a quick look at that later on loyalty is good except, for, except well, see they've got good loyalty they're just unhappy 
Um, culture is good. Clothes is good. Clothes is a little bit shaky. Although I suppose it's, I don't know, are you actually in range of the, yeah, everyone's in range. Oh well, another mystery of the game that needs to be solved. I don't really want to expand Stilton any bigger. I don't know if I've, if I've got a town, I've, I think I've built a little town hall in here. We've got an actual population of two and a half thousand here. It's going to grow a lot bigger. We've got unemployment of 28. We've got electronics in here as well. So let me just get back to, I think, just to, as a final thing to look at before I wind the video up. Otherwise, this is going to be a two hour video. It says potential broadcast outreach 6,900 odd, which is less than half our population. What they should be doing is just spreading the positive propaganda. Oh well. Although I do wonder whether some of the consequences of this odd loyalty is due to the fact that I've gone into a uh, an existing system, and I'm going to be very interested to see what it's going to be like if, when you start from a new game. And I think just uh, construction office. I just want to make sure these guys are not st so you're actually there oh we're out of steel that means they're probably all in here now um oh where are you you're stuck you're through there you can go through there you can go through there right let's just go back where are you let's get back and see if we can find where that Right, so let's just get in here and see where we can find where you are. Where are you? Still trying to get back. That means there's something along this line that... It looks like I've got a real problem here, but I don't think I can solve this because the video is getting too long. So this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.